Hey guys, Jay here, and today we're going to talk about Sword Art Online. So let's get started. Sword Art Online has become quite popular in recent years, and with that success, a divide has happened between people who absolutely hate the show and people who love it. I'm just one of the people that absolutely loves it, and I want to give my thoughts and insights as to why I think you should give this show a shot. I find the premise of Sword Art Online very compelling and intriguing, as I am not one who would watch the Dot .hack series before Sword Art Online's original release, so in my opinion, it was like an introduction to the entirety of the MMORPG and VR MMO based anime genre, and naturally, I feel a certain connection with the plot, as I am an avid gamer myself. I also enjoyed diving into the character arcs of Kirito and Asuna, and not only watching them grow as players, but also as people too. For example, when Kirito started off as a beta tester, in the beginning he only wanted to play for himself, and not have to worry about those people around him so that way he could become stronger. But as shown, being inside of the world for that long, you tend to make that place your temporary reality because the thought of escape is still present. So, in my opinion, Kirito grew into more of a versatile player, because he was able to find his true strength and protect those he most cared about. Also, his will is something to question as well. However, Asuna's growth was a little different. She had more of an emotional growth, as she came from being a frightened solo player to being able to build bonds with other players, and with those bonds and strength in numbers, she was able to overcome her fear and become truly great. I was able to fully understand and appreciate some of the life lessons that Sword Art Online has to offer. With that being said, Kirito's will to fight never ceases to amaze me, because when he's faced with a challenge, he faces it head on. For example, during the Gleam Eyes boss raid, he's faced with an ultimatum or two choices, to either back out and risk losing party members, or to use his unique skill, which is of course, dual wielding. He ultimately chose to fight to save those he cares for and wanted to see again in real life or how sometimes when you're overworked. For example, when Kirito and Asuna are both bantering about how he's always slacking off while everyone is just so focused on clearing the game and Kirito tells her that she needs to take a breath and appreciate what's in front of her and that it's okay to take in everything and enjoy life once in a while. The Eincrad and Elfheim arcs in Sword Art Online were the perfect examples of the MMORPG experience for those who have ever invested a good amount of time in playing one. The artists and animators over at A1 Pictures made sure that they captured the majesty of the fantasy environments in the top MMORPGs.